FeatureCam 2015 R3 has a new selection method to add to the fully contained and drag selection modes. This new method provides an option for region box selection that will select either partially or fully enclosed entities, improving ease of use for all users. In the case of this example you can see I've got a number of features created, I've got some curves and also some solids in this file. If I rotate the view round you can see I've got all of my component elements inside the screen. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to move my features and curves to a different layer. First thing I can do is quite quickly hide the casing. So I'm going to go ahead and say hide selected. Now I want to move my features and curves. Now when I go to my selection method you can see I've got an additional new selection method so we've now got three different options available to us. Those same selection methods can also be seen in the edit menu under the select. Of those three options the select is the traditional or original approach which is a fully contained selection. So that means that anything that is selected must be fully contained within the selection box in order for me to select that item. The drag select option allows us to drag the cursor along and anything that the cursor crosses uh, the path of it will go ahead and select as well. So with the original select mode this made it very difficult to grab information so for example here you can see my features and curves. If I wanted to try and select these I'd have to fully enclose these in the box. The problem here is I've actually selected parts of the vice as well as my features and curves. What I'd have to do is try and manipulate the view around somewhere where my full box wouldn't go ahead and select any of the vice components. But this could be quite difficult and I have to start going around hiding bits of the vice and so on. So the new selection method is quite straightforward. I just pull down, choose select partial. Note that once I'm in this selection mode this will continue to stay in this mode throughout the file session. I can now go ahead and select the areas that I'm interested in just with a partial box and note that even though I'm not going across the entire features all of those are selected in one quick selection method. I can now move these onto a different layer. In this case I'm going to go to my layers area, create a new layer, I'll call this one features and curves and say OK and I can right click on the items I've got selected and then change those to that new layer. I can then turn that off and they're hidden quickly from view, making life much easier with this new selection method.